Good day, everybody. We're gonna make a snowflake, so you can make many snowflakes. If you want a big snowflake, you can use the whole uh, A4 size paper by just making a square, or you can use half. Today we're gonna make. Today we're gonna use half the paper. Okay, for two snowflakes. So this is one. So you let's cut the A4 size into half, okay? And make a square. So we have this now. We have two halves here for two little snowflakes. Right now, we're gonna make a square. So we've got to cut off the extra piece of paper. You can also make a small little snowflake with the leftovers of this paper. I don't throw any paper away because I use even this one for a snowflake. So now let's make the basic snowflake, okay, which is going to look like this. Yeah, this is one little one. Then we make six of these and put them together to make a lovely snowflake. So here we go, make a triangle out of the square and another triangle, okay? So you're making one and two. Let me show you again. So this is the square. You fold it into one triangle and fold it again. Now when you hold the paper, that it's important for you to hold it at the corner here and keep these flaps down because that's the way you're going to cut it. If you can cut it freehand, no problem. If you cannot, then you can make just three little lines. Remember, these are the three lines. Remember to keep the place free here without cutting, okay? So let's do it now. Hold it here at the corner. This flap has to be down and you're gonna cut from this side. Don't cut to the end, only till where your line is going. One, two, three cuts. Three cuts. Now let's open this. And this is what you get, okay? This is what you get. Once you get this, take both the ends and put a little bit of gum or a small little piece of cello tape on this. And then you will get a roll. It'll look like this, okay? Then you turn it the other side and join these two. Yeah, so you've got one this side, one this side. Now let's turn it again and make another one. Join on the opposite sides, so then you get it all swirly. And this last one, let's make it here. It's already taking shape. Okay, so this is what it is. Now you make six of these with just three A4 size papers, okay? And then put them all together. Let's keep the center side. So this is one. So put all the points together here. Three, four, five, six. And then we can staple them together. Staple the six together. Yeah. And you have your snowflake. If you want to put, uh, staple the sides of each snowflake, you can do that too. If you don't want to, it doesn't matter. But if you feel that it is going to keep it together, 
properly, then you can just staple the side, okay? Like that. So, one Christmas, I had uh, only paper decor. So the Christmas tree was a paper Christmas tree. I'm going to show you how you can make that too. You can make a big one, you can make a small one. So next time, we make a paper Christmas tree. So what I did was, I just stapled the sides together and see how firm this is. Can you see? And then you can just hang it. So you take a punch and punch one corner of it so that one hole in the middle so that you can tie a thread. And you can hang this from the river, okay? See the snowflake? Wasn't that easy? So that's it.